Pierre, you're the man. Thank you so much for the comments on YouTube under your channel, Beast Mode. And I, I saw we connected on Facebook as well, man. Looks like you're out of France doing really well and uh, building an amazing body. You got amazing uh, confidence and I love what you're doing. So thanks for co thanks for commenting. I got a little video here I shot that uh, should be answering a lot of questions and help you out and also help a lot of other people out as well. All right, so enjoy. Beast Mode asked me about apple cider vinegar wanted to get back to you regarding apple cider vinegar i take one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar with eight ounces of water so i do that only during fasting it's something that is a fermented food so you only want to use it when fasting regarding the apple cider vinegar also it does help get the digestion going quite a bit um, and make sure that when you after you take it you squish salt water around in your mouth baking soda brush your teeth or do the oil pulling I'm gonna shoot a, a more extensive video on the oil pulling, but let me just touch base on the oil pulling as well. Oil pulling is something that goes back thousands of years. There's an ancient website called oilpulling.com and get more research on it, but nobody makes any money on oil pulling, okay? So that's kind of why there's no real valid information or any products, there's nothing to buy. There's no, there's no products to buy with oil pulling. You just take oil out of your cabinet and swish it in your mouth. It literally changed my life. Halloween of last year, you know, Candy had some friends, you know, went out with friends, a friend of mine, Victoria Falls, was with her, and she says, oh, you know, you got, you want to brush your teeth, why don't you do oil pulling? I'm like, what's that? She says, take, take this coconut oil, swish it around in your mouth for 20 minutes, like, kind of like mouthwash, and then after you're done, you spit it out in the trash, and then just brush your teeth, get all the resident you know rinse out and you feel like a million bucks your teeth are clean and I started doing that October 31st at that time I had to go to the dentist at that time I had had gum surgery in the past where I had uh, gums that were receding and I had some some problems with my gums I had to actually have full-on gum surgery with a laser prior to that and I had some gingivitis going on I was like just not good you know it's a lot of common things that go on yeah, I started doing this. So a lot of common things people were, that have, have with their teeth, I was having problems with gingivitis and whatnot. Started doing the oil pulling October 31st, and I don't think I've missed a day. Oftentimes I do it twice a day. I put oil in my mouth three to 20 minutes. There's, there's a little bit of different variation on the research. There's a book uh, about oil pulling that I really respect by a doctor. I can't remember his name. Gosh. Um, he, he wrote the best book on best studies on oil pulling that I've seen. All right, he wrote an amazing studies on oil pulling, but also the the uh, what I really what I really liked was uh, oh uh, the one that I really trust is Andres Mortz because Andres Mortz is the one that taught me about the liver and gallbladder flush, the amazing liver and gallbladder flush that changed my life, that got the toxins 50 stones the first time and 100 stones out the second time out of, out of my liver. Nothing out of my gallbladder yet. I don't know if there's anything in there. If it takes time, I have to do it for a lot longer. But he says do it three minutes. He says only three minutes. So if you do it for three minutes, you're good. If you want to do it for 20 minutes, you're also good. So it's kind of, you know, I've done it both ways. But you want to get the oil in your mouth really thoroughly. Swish it around. A good time to do it after the apple cider vinegar. And then spit the oil out in your tra the trash. Oh my gosh. Whitens the teeth. Keeps the dentist away. There's so many powerful health benefits that's like life-changing. I can barely even, I can't even describe them all. You have to go to that website, oilpulling.com to kind of learn about it. There's a lot of studies going back into the 90s from uh, people in India that did the oil pulling. So feeling, so Beast Mode, man, it's actually, uh, Beast Mode is the, is the channel and Pierre is the guy. So thank you for watching, Pierre, and thank you for the great comment. Feeling pretty lean right now. I mean, I wish I could be better lighting, but it, lighting's not good. No lean, you know, but because uh, I mean, I got freaking from what I've seen, the lighting's better. Freaking, I got veins all throughout my stomach. Crazy, shredded man, but right now, so feeling good. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. Feeling pretty lean. Hope hope all's good. Stay young, stay aesthetic. I think I'm gonna go to the uh, sun splash on Friday. Do some freaking, you know, just get out there and be in the sun with people and. I got a funny story actually I'll have to tell in another video here. Swimming at the rec center today, getting some sun, I fall asleep in the sun, I got a little sunburn, no big deal. I don't care, I don't wear sunscreen, I don't wear sunglasses, man. The sun, my skin knows how to protect itself automatically when it's light outside, so not worried about it. 
But a uh, quick, you know, funny story. I uh, I fell asleep and I left my sunglass, uh, my goggles, for swimming, out away from where I was, and I just happened to be like getting up and walking towards them, and I see this kid who's on the swim team at the rec center, and the rec center is at this like local high school called the uh, West Sac. Uh, it's the West Sac High School, and. So I, I see this kid is on the on the high school swim team. He grabs uh, my goggles. I actually see him take the goggles and steal them. You know, he he gaffled them. I see him do it. I'm thinking, man, are you kidding me? He's stealing my goggles right now. I mean, they were literally not his, and he had his own goggles and he stole them. So I I, I want to find out if I, what I did was wrong or not. Leave a comment below. But let me tell you what happened. So I, I calmly went over to, the, to him and I said, you know, excuse me, um, I, I caught you red-handed. You, you are a thief, you're stealing my goggles, you know? And they're just silly goggles, but when there's a thief around you, it's like really kind of important. If you have a thief around, he's likely a kleptomaniac and he's probably stealing from a lot of other people, a lot of other things. He just does it unconsciously, he's just a thief, you know? So the people like that are very, uh, very dangerous to any environments. They kind of gotta be get, gotten rid of. Um, so I called him out. I talked to the lifeguard and I talked to the other, you know, his friends. I told them all that, hey, you know, Jim, Jim here is a thief. He's actually a thief. He's a kleptomaniac. He admitted it, that he was. He admitted it and he actually apologized to me and shook me, shook hands. And I told him that, you know, he, he, you know, I really told him he was totally wrong. I called him out, really kind of embarrassed him. I mean, I got right in his face and I said, hey, you're a thief, man. You just stole those goggles. And it's not that I really care about some silly goggles. It's the principle that if you're stealing from me, then, you know, you're stealing from these other little kids here and other people who are younger than you. I mean, that's just really, that is not cool. You know, you, you, these, that's just not, that's just not cool. The kids can't protect themselves, do anything about it. So I had to call him out as a person of authority and, and kind of tell him that what he was doing was wrong. And I don't know, I just want to know if, what your feedback is if you're watching, when you watch this video. If, if what I said was incorrect, if I should have, should have called him out, maybe I should just let it go and talk to somebody else about it. But I just like to deal with things head on. So I went and said, hey dude, you're a freaking thief. I told all his friends. I said, this guy's a thief. I told his brothers. I told the other people. I told the lifeguard. I said, this guy Jim is a thief. You know, watch out. He should be removed from this high school. And I told Jim, I said, Jim, you know, sorry to tell you, bro, but you really, gonna be better off just leaving this swim team leaving this school because you know words out now that you are a thief you know you admitted it blatantly to me and I've called you out now in front of all your friends your peers the lifeguards people know you cannot be trusted so really super embarrassing for him he like kind of cowered and hit under a rock after that you know I mean I, I don't I hopefully it taught him a lesson but maybe did I go too far was I too mean he's just a high school kid you know I feel kind of bad I don't want to ruin the kid's confidence for the future, but I guess I've, I've dealt with thieves before in the past. I had a kleptomaniac in the fraternity, Delta Chi, and he, he was a kleptomaniac thief. I mean, I don't think he knew what he was doing. He would steal things that had no value, he would steal all the time. And so people like that, they have a, a, a mental illness. They have to go seek help and treatment in like um, you know, a mental facility. You know, they could be a schizophrenic or something. It's a klepto, it's all kleptomaniac. So I called him out. You know, so warn everybody. I wonder if that was wrong when I did. I thought it was kind of a funny, funny story, but hey, maybe you know, me calling a high school kid out, big freaking tough guy. I feel bad. Anyhow.